the end of an era. This always feels a little weird. <laughs> and uh, not exactly sure how to say this, so I guess we'll just say it. Uh, the project is done. We finished the electronic load phase two. The second prototype is done, the big RGB flashy goodness. Mm, yes, so nice. It's done. It just never quite feels done, though. You know, like, there's always something more we can do. There's always something new we can try. And it is just, it's just hard to close up the box and walk away. But really, we found a lot of success in this project, and I'm really excited about how it went, and I hope you are too. Because as we kick off the next phase a little bit down the road, as we launch the Community Edition, I am really excited about that. However, we're gonna take a little detour, and I wanna talk to you about what's coming next for this project and just what's coming next, because I'm really excited to share that with you. I'm excited about what is coming on EE for everyone. And honestly, I was really torn. There's a few different projects. I'm like, where are we going next? And I think we've got a pretty good answer to that question. So first things first, electronic load project. How did this go? Actually, one moment. Just didn't feel right to talk about without, you know, it's like, hmm, should I the, this song? Okay, I need another. This is a great idea. I don't have anything that tall. Scooch. A little bit. Uh, nothing like a slide around on top of a precarious thing of cardboard boxes. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just hold it. <laughs> this electronic one. Oh, I love this thing. So how did it go? How did this project go? How did we do? Well, I really like this thing. Personally, I think the RGB is interesting. Maybe call it tasteful? Nah, is RGB ever tasteful? I don't know. But we've got this modular architecture with the four daughter cards and the expandable cooling and... Well, actually, we just played with that. This is before all the, you know, all the updates, but... Man, we made some little mistakes, we found some big successes, and ultimately I'm really excited to scale one of these daughter cards into our community edition electronic load. We're gonna just scale it down to what makes sense, right? Keep things below self limits, reduce the part count, minimize complexity, and it's going to be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, so I guess the list of what went well, um, the cooling solution, fantastic. Like, there is no limit to how far we can push this design with the cooling, right? In this chassis, there's a limit, but get a water chiller, bigger radiator, um, parallel blocks, like one loop per, like we could do a lot to scale this up if we really wanted to get a thousand watts per daughter card. We could, we can and could achieve that with this architecture. Are we gonna take it there personally? I am not but I'm confident that you could, right? It just needs sub-ambient cooling or a better liquid or, right, there are things that could be done, small tweaks, that could get this design there if you really needed to get it there. And that is really amazing. I mean, for, you know, $15 water blocks that are commercially available and, right, this is all off-the-shelf hardware. We didn't do anything revolutionary here. We just integrated it, which I think is cool. I think that was kind of the point. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Um, what else went well? Uh, just the electrical design in general, I think, was decent. Like, it does the job. It's within our requirements. The accuracy is very good for the second prototype. And even without calibration built into the firmware, we could build calibration routines into this. And we haven't yet. And knowing that and seeing how good it is, that is really cool. Like, I am really impressed with the regulation performance. The transient response is, well, it's not gonna win any awards, but it's pretty darn good and, and uh, I'm happy with that. Okay, so what's next for this? Scale it down, reduce cost, get it released as a community edition. However, I've got to admit, we've spent a lot of time talking and working on this design and 
if I'm being completely transparent, when I thought about taking this and moving on to what's next, I just, my heart just wasn't in it. I just could not be passionate about the Community Edition launch right in the day. And there's a big part of me that's sorry about that, but it's just where we are right now. And so this is something where I'm not forgetting about it. We're not going to walk away from it. We're going to launch the Community Edition, but just not right now today. Uh, I want to take a little detour and... Well, let, let me tell you more about that. See, I got myself in a little bit of a situation. And um, that situation, as I started talking with one of my good friends, and basically I said, hey, what do you want to learn about? <laughs> I'm looking for project ideas. What do you want to learn about? What are you passionate about? What are you into? And they were like, amplifiers. And I was like, ooh, amplifiers. That's an idea. Because I'm kind of an analog nut, and I really like amplification specifically power amplification and that's not something that really comes around too often small signal amplification all day high frequency low frequency that kind of stuff transmission lines that stuff it comes around pretty often but to really design a discrete power amplifier okay now that 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 kind of got me a little excited if I'm being honest. <laughs> and so I said, all right, we're gonna design a power amplifier and I wanna play around with a couple different topologies, different classes, little design tweaks, just kinda nerd out in the analog world for a while, do some simulation, play around with some stuff, break some rules, and um, ultimately try to build a low THD um, amplifier of some form. Uh, I'm gonna start with class AB. See where that road takes us. Cautiously, in, I'd be skeptical. Be, mm. I'd consider making a class D, but class H really just has me excited right now. That's basically a class A B with a varying DC bus, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, that just kind of makes me excited. And um, yeah, so amplifiers uh, we don't have a name for the series i don't know exactly or any there's some details coming and that's okay but we're going to be talking about amplifiers cool and then what we'll do is we're going to circle back and if i have my way we're going to make a little pit stop back at the other project we put on pause and we're going to revisit specifically the design construction and test of an inverter module since that was the part of our UPS project that was the weakest. So we're going to be revisiting the concept of turning DC into AC for use in powering electronics. <laughs> and then the community edition, I promise. <laughs> okay, okay, I hear you. Yes, that's a lot. It might take a while. That's the vision. Okay, that's the vision. So, Proto 2, big success. Really happy with how that went. What's next? Amplifiers, UPS, phase three, no. Some inverter, yes. We're gonna go amplifier, inverter, community edition. That's what's on my mind. So, I had to share this with you. Hopefully, you're excited. I know I'm excited. It's gonna be a fun couple of months on E for everyone, and I've got a feeling there's a few dev kits coming our way. Oh, by the way, um, uh, no obligation, but generally curious. Um, I'm motivated to release dev kits into the wild. I don't know if I currently am willing or able to distribute any dev kits, but if you're into that sort of thing and you want to partner with E for everyone, let me know. Business inquiry email. There's a link to it in our about page, so just go ahead and fire us an email if you are into that sort of thing and you understand how that works. Um, but for now, I think we're just going to take a design, throw it on the internet, and uh, hopefully it'll get where it needs to go. Legal stuff, you know, it's hard, and uh, don't really want to get into that right now. So that's kind of that's kind of damper internet, but that's fine. Most of all, I hope that you're as excited as we are. I hope that you learned something today, and I hope to see you again soon. So thank you for watching it for everyone, and thank you for staying till the end. Oh, by the way, if you want to see more of our content, if you 
you really are excited and you want to be notified, uh, don't forget to get subscribed and ring that bell. That always helps us out. If not, just sound off in the comments. Let us know what you're excited about. Maybe give us some of those awesome ideas like you always do about how we can maximize our success moving forward with the inverter and with the discrete amplifier. I'm very excited.